One afternoon, Thomas the Tank Engine was waiting at a signal when James popped up right beside him. <sighs> Please, Thomas, when exactly are you going to get rid of those rat-filled pieces of garbage? Uh, excuse me, what rat-filled pieces of garbage? Ah, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe it's those wooden cabins on wheels behind you. What? Well, I know I'm not as young as I used to be, and not so down with the kids, but I was saying that! <laughs> you see what you do? I'm not talking about Edward, Thomas. I'm talking about Annie and Clarabelle. But, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, what? But, uh, Annie and... Yes, I mean Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas, those coaches need to go. Oh, for whatever reason. Oh, well, let's see then. They smell like two-year-old bread, their wood is rotting badly, and for you to drag them along like a two-year-old does with this crap-scented shriveled blanket who won't get rid of it is just unhealthy, Thomas. Well, that's just the way I like him, James. Whole rotten two-year-old bread. Whether you like it or not. You are messed up in so many ways, I swear to God. I try. Thomas, I, I hate to break it to you, but Coach is that old. They could be scrapped someday. Maybe scrapped next week. Maybe scrapped in three days. Maybe scrapped tomorrow. What? <laughs> the Red Engine's using big boy words, Danny. Wait, 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 wait. Why not today? Thomas! Well, he didn't mention today, so I thought... Oh, yeah, even today. Great. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go off to pull my shiny red coaches. <laughs> After my rinse at the engine wash. What an interesting engine. Mm, Clarabelle, do you think James was... Be, uh, possibly right? Oh no dear, that's what we call bull-dropping stew. No one would ever hurt us as long as Thomas is around. Oh yes, because you and I both know how loyal Thomas is to his two quaint faithful coaches that he's been around for so long. I do years. wonder what James was on about. Right, Something about living in a wooden cabin? Oh, good luck with that train boy. Thomas? Aren't I pulling something Thomas. right now? Nah, I'm not. I think once the signal changes, I'm go shunting with Rosie. <laughs> Even Thomas. though Ertle didn't really make a model of her. But hey, Nakayoshi's still around, right? Right? Oh, yeah. Right. Thomas. Oh, uh, yeah. Thomas. Thomas. What? Thomas. 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 what? <gasps> the signal is green, Thomas. That means go. Oh, yeah, I'm pulling these stinking coaches up for gold. Alright, I best Clarice, I'm gonna be back later. That's not a name, it's Thomas. Freaking idiot. Anyway, Clarabelle, we need to figure out a way to get back at James. Any bright ideas? No, not yet. I'm trying to think of a way we can show James just how wooden we really are. Well, we we could just No Clarabelle! No! No! Why doesn't our owner use modern Thomas toys in his videos? Because, Clarabelle, using unique merchandise is far better. Minus the seven-year-old people asking, What models are those? Huh? What models do you use in your videos? Huh? What models are those called? What Thomas toys are those called? Yeah, the Wikia exists, you know. Don't ask us! <clears throat> I'm sorry. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Hmm. That's fine. Uh, so what were you saying about James, dear? I have a plan, but we need some assistance. Oh, w w what kind of assistance? <laughs> Engine assistance. Oh, hello, ladies. Oh, hello, Spencer. Can you do something for us? Oh, you are. Uh, you want to see my glutes? What? Oh, yes, please. No, we need your help. <laughs> are you sure? No, because no, lady no, wants back to see up. I'm cold cast. I'm going I'm 100 years old! He was so hot. Well, now what do we do? We wait for another sexy engine, of course. Oh, well, that won't take long, won't it? I'm going to turn into dust particles by the time an engine comes! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Annie! I see one there! Really? Who? Mm, it's that handsome red engine who threatened us earlier. What? Uh, 
Oh, 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 Thomas's couches, hello. And there's no one around. I might just take you both to your retirement home. <laughs> James, what? Oh, hey, hey, sir. Wait, were you just touching those old ladies? No. I'll call the cops on you later. Right now, I need you to take some trucks to the docks right away. I'll be back in three seconds. Why are you being back in three? What are you still doing here? Get the fuck out of God! Perfect. Our plan goes into flight. <laughs> now we just need some assistance from an engine. Who knows how long that will take for an engine to get here? Mm, I could definitely use some assistance. Oh, hello, Annie Clabell. Stop right there! Okay. <clears throat> Percy, dear, will you do us a favor, please? Uh, okay. Trucks! Nothing but trucks! And of course, I get the only brake fan available! It's not so bad, Mr. James. Are we almost there? Shut up! Keep going, keep going, and stop right here. Mm, you move along them tracks so smoothly, Percy. Oh, well, I thank you. If you ever need any help with uh, some coach, coach help, you know just who to call. Okay, uh, so Annie, uh, what exactly are we doing here? Mm, I know what I'm doing here. Just watch, Percy. Just watch. Oh, so you up ahead, Percy? Taking those wooden cabins out for a run, eh? Or the scrapyard? Well, we'll see about that. Points! Sound effect of points changing. Wait, no! Stop, Percy! Ah! Holy crap, Mr. James! Oh... Uh... The job is done. <laughs> Would you be a dear and take us back to the yards, please, Percy? Uh, sure. You know, you coaches are a bit creepy. Nice and sugary, but creepy. How does Thomas manage you? Who's Thomas? You know who Thomas is, Clarbo. No, no. Hey, Percy. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. How the heck did this happen, James? Oh, oh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I came as soon as I called. Are you okay? Uh, yes, sir, I'm fine. Not you! Oh, 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 oh no! What did he do to you? Oh, you! You monster! Me? You're worried about the freaking station and yelling at me? What did I do? Oh, don't you be talking back to me. You come here. Look what you did. Look what you did. Yeah, you like destroying stations, huh? I'm going to destroy you, you freaking idiot. Cost me billions of freaking dollars to mend this station. Ah! Uh, to be fair, Mr. James, you were the one who destroyed the station. Oh, yeah, thank you, Toad. Ah!